you will. <laughs> Have you guys actually started to see the scripts yet for what's coming up? I mean, I know that you're not well, oh, well, there we go with the uh, no comment thing again. Okay. Yeah. I thought we could trick him into a corner there. Uh, the fellow right behind you there. Can I just take him up and drop him? <laughs> I tried to do that at season seven. There was a, a scene where we're in the loft. I don't know if you guys remember it. Um, Now, granted, it's a, it's a it's a pretty expensive show. It's not like a, a sitcom where you bang it out real quick and everything. But you still production schedule. You guys got to get in and get out, move on to the next shot. But how much input did you guys have when you were on the set to be able to kind of tweak things and, and make it your own? Uh, quite a bit, actually. Um, part of the, how does how does that work? Basically, they they, they kind of came to me for the doomsday role, which. That was a big deal for me because I knew that I could get away with being a jerk. Okay. No, um, no then I, I could change things here and there. I mean, I, I would sometimes write to them and say, "Well, shouldn't we do this instead?" I, I think at one point they had they had my character after he started having powers and stuff. They they had him chloroform, and I'm like, I, I, "No, can't you just like hit him over the head with a pipe or something?" And I'm like, "Oh, that's right." Boom. You know. And. Uh, and, and yeah, so and I would change things here and there on the set, and they would tolerate it. It's funny because the producers, um, you know, one would come up to me and say, "Hey, do a great job, Stu. Just keep doing what you're doing. We're really happy with it." And then the other producer would come in and say, "Hey, you're doing a great job. Just stick to the script." <laughs> Thanks. So I, I took I, I took some liberties, and they seemed okay with it. I really didn't have a lot of um, say at the beginning of the series because they were very specific about Supergirl and how she came across. And I remember my first day in the trailer in full uniform, like our lovely lady here is wearing, and uh, five producers came in, stood around me, circled me, and looked me up and down to make sure that I was what they wanted people to see as Supergirl. So that was intimidating, but eventually I got more say. And, put a bit of my own personality into it, but with dialogue and things like that, they really don't allow you to stray too much because it is very specific with bands. Uh, you, guys, 